I am Frank Motek for MA.TV. We're at the ACG 2011 conference. Among the leaders joining us now, Dick Israel, Dick Israel Partners Investment Banker. Dick, great to have you with us here. You're based right here in Beverly Hills, so you're probably right at home here at the uh, Beverly Hilton. Tell us about uh, what you're doing and tell us about your firm and uh, what you're doing these days. Thanks, Frank. I'm glad to have you back at the ACG. Uh, this is our uh, 14th uh, conference that we've had here. Uh, it, we started them uh, 14 years ago and outgrew the Beverly Hills Hotel, moved to this hotel. We'll have over 1,300 registrants here this year and we're uh, very proud of what ACG has accomplished in Los Angeles. Um, I've had my own investment banking firm for over 30 years, but uh, grew up with a Wall Street firm on the West Coast with Cantor Fitzgerald, uh, which was a very good training. Uh, today I'm focused primarily on working with the senior executives uh, in transition who uh, want to become more entrepreneurial and not have to uh, work under the roof of a large corporation. Certainly over the years these conferences have seen a lot of events now and still a very challenging time, a lot of volatility in the markets and all that and uh, the third anniversary of the 2008 uh, financial crisis now. Uh, give us your view of things here at the moment. Uh, we're not out of the woods by a long shot. Uh, the, uh, the unemployment uh, numbers are still very high. Uh, I think that uh, the, the depth of the recession um, is, is deep. Housing has, is greatly affected across the country. Uh, we're very much of a service industry too, which changes the dynamics of who's being employed. Uh, I did a um, panel just last week small business people here in Southern California, uh, of the 100 people that were in the room, about 75 raised their hands when asked who were in the service sector compared with who were in manufacturing or distribution. And um, that does not speak well because service businesses have the toughest time. They really are selling themselves. They're not really selling anything other than themselves and that, that's very difficult. Obviously, a lot of uncertainty still out there with the Eurozone and what's going to happen in Congress and all that. Uh, what do you see ahead? Uh, what's going to um, be? I don't like to be a doomsayer, but I think that uh, it's entirely possible that uh, November 23rd will come and go and that they will not uh, reach that committee of 12 will not reach a, a decision on uh, how to reduce the debt. And uh, we may have another financial crisis on our hands. What challenges do you see ahead for the next year? you think lending will be constrained? Uh, will there be another Lehman-style uh, event here? I don't think there'll be a, that type of event because the banks have so much money, corporations have the money. We talk about the trillions of dollars. The private equity groups who are in great abundance here today at the uh, conference uh, all have money. There's over 2,000 private equity groups in the United States and there's probably you know, two or 300 of them represented here today alone, the major ones. They all have money. Uh, the problem is they've been trading among themselves rather than uh, buying new companies uh, they sell to each other. Dick Israel, Dick Israel Partners based here in Beverly Hills. Dick, always great to see you here. And thanks very much for joining us here today on MA.TV. Thank you.